Hello everyone! Ang concern natin for this video ay kumuha ng solution ng ating exact differential equation. We have to obtain the general solution for the differential equation x plus 2y dx plus 2x plus y dy is equal to 0. Kung makapansin natin yung form natin, this is an order 1 differential equation na ang m natin is x plus 2y at ang n naman natin ay 2x plus y. Since nandito na to sa ganitong form, our next step is to test for the exactness. Kailangan yung partial derivative ng ating m with respect to y ay pareho dun sa partial derivative ng ating n with respect to x. Umpisahan muna natin kay ating m. Testing for exactness, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative with respect to y ng ating m na x plus 2y. Getting the partial derivative with respect to y, ititreat natin yung ibang variable, in this case, yung x as constant. And ano yung derivative ng constant? That is just equal to 0. Kaya this part will become 0. And then 2y, derivative of y is just 1. Kaya we will be left with 2. Next, working on our n, getting its partial derivative with respect to x naman, kung titignan natin, we have our 2x here. And then, derivative of x with respect to x is just equal to 1. So, 2 times 1, this part will become 2. And then, yung y natin, we treat this as a constant and this will become equal to 0. So, ang matitira lang ay si 2. Now, we observe na yung partial ni m with respect to y is equal to 2 at ganun din si partial ni n with respect to x equal din siya sa 2. So, we can say that our differential equation is exact. Now, na-confirm na natin yun, we can say na etong property na to ay true. For exact equations, yung partial derivative ng ating solution na f, ang f yung solution ng ating de with respect to x ay pareho dun sa m, at yung partial derivative ng ating solution with respect to y naman ay dapat pareho dun sa ating n na 2x plus y. Let us remember this property kasi magagamit natin siya dun sa process natin. For our next step, kailangan nating pumili dun sa dalawa. So for this one, I will be picking tong first part. So partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to m. As we take that, then multiplying yung equation by partial of x, we will be arriving at partial of f is equal to m times the partial of x. Again, ang kailangan nating kuhanin ay si f. Kasi ito yung solution ng ating de. So kukunin natin yung kanyang integral. Pero, we take the integral partially. We are taking the derivative with respect to x, pero yung y, ititreat natin as constant. Dahil ginawa natin yun, for this process to be here, kailangan natin magdagdag ng ating constant of integration. This is a function of y. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng v of y dito. Then, solving for this, ang m natin is x plus 2y. So, our f will be equal to the integral of ang m natin is x plus 2y dx plus v of y. Ito yung isosolve natin sa ating integration. Working on this, we have our integration. Again, ititreat natin yung ibang variable as a constant. Kung mapansin nyo, we have our x here. Itong 2y natin, yung y, we treat this as a constant. So, pag hiniwalay natin sila, the integral of x dx plus, dahil again, yung 2y, tinreat natin as constant, Kasi kumukuha tayo ng derivative with respect to x, nilabas natin siya. Then, ang natira sa loob ay cdx, all inad pa rin natin dun sa ating p of y. Then, doing the integration, this is just power rule, so this will become x squared all over 2. Magdadagdag tayo ng 1 dun sa exponent, and then, kung ano yung nasa exponent, ilalagay natin sa ating denominator. And then, this part, integral of dx is just x, x times 2y, that is 2xy, all plus P of y. Ngayon, malapit na tayo dun sa ating solution. Ito na siya yung f, kaso nga lang, hindi pa natin alam yung value ng P of y. Kaya, susunod natin gagawin, para makuha tong value na to, we take yung derivative ng ating f, partial derivative with respect to y. Ito na yung susunod na gagawin natin. So, taking the partial derivative of our f with respect to y, etong part na to, since with respect to y tayo, this is x squared. Etong part na to is just constant. Kaya this part will become 0. 
And then, eto naman, meron tayong y. So, what is the derivative of y? That is just 1. And then, yung 2x, dahil partial derivative, imumultiply lang natin. So, we arrive at 2x. And then, yung phi of y natin, taking its first derivative, that is phi prime of y. Let this be our first equation. And then, kanina, we take yung partial of f natin with respect to x is equal to m. Ngayon, kuhanin naman natin si partial of f with respect to y is equal to n. Ito yung isang property natin ng exact equation. So ngayon, ano ba yung n natin? As we go back with our given equation, our n is equal to 2x plus y. So partial of f with respect to y is equal to n, ang n natin ay 2x plus y. Let this be our equation 2. From this property at yung nakuha natin, they are both equal to partial of f with respect to y. So, we will be equating equation 1 and equation 2 si 2x plus v of y tsaka si 2x plus y. Ang kagandahan nito, makikita nyo na meron tayong 2x sa left side, meron tayong 2x sa right side. Pag nilipat ko, this part will become 0. Kasi 2x minus 2x, that is just equal to 0. Natiran tayo ng v of y is equal to y. Now, this is just simply and solely a function of y. Kaya makukuha natin yung value ng phi of y by doing integration. The integral of phi of y is equal to y dy. So, this part, babalik tayo sa phi of y and then eto, power rule ng integration. So, this will become y squared over 2. Ngayon, meron na tayong value ng phi of y which is y squared over 2. Ang gagawin na lang natin is substitute natin siya dito and then applying our constant we have our c is equal to x squared all over 2 plus 2xy plus yung phi of y natin na y squared over 2. Then to simplify, let us multiply our whole equation by 2 and then our final answer is x squared plus 4xy plus y squared is equal to c. This is the solution of our differential equation. So this is how we solve for the solution of exact differential equations. Music